playing Selectro. Hello and welcome to Final Fantasy X Part 9. How are you all going? I hope you're going super duper well. I've got to say, you once again managed to time it for just when I was going to turn it on and it turned on and I was like, no, no, now I'm going to send a message to someone instead. Stupid baby Yoda. Um, <laughs> but I hope everyone is going great. Let me bring that up here for everyone. But hello, sleepy and faceless, Electro and someone. How are you going? And Barry, of course. Um, ride the ship of... Yes, that is what I, we plan to do today. So let me bring it up. That's it. This is it. Hello, game. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Because I messed around with the audio earlier doing something. So just let me know if the game is suddenly much louder than expected. This is loud. Okay, thank you. That was exactly what I needed to know. Um, do, 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 do. is that better? Can you guys hear it okay now? Um, I've slowly started recently watching other people on Twitch lately, but I noticed something. None of them have a mod like the one and only Barry. Seriously, you may tell us the stream's better. Well, thank you, Sleepy. Yes, it takes a lot to capture a robot and raise it in your, your basement so that it can mod your streams correctly. So I like the work that I put into making Barry a, a slave robot. Thank you for that. Oh. Um, <coughs> yes, the music's dropped. Excellent. Maybe a little more? You reckon lower still? Okay. And hello, Shadow, how are you going? Oh, this is what I get for mixing, messing with it. There we go. Or... Anything like that? Um... Yeah, you're pretty hot, not gonna lie, Barry, says Sleepy. Sleepy isn't actually here for me anymore. Sleepy's here for Barry. So he was like, I actually hate that there's even a, a stream at all. I just want to see Barry moderating. Sleepy would prefer that it was like, Barry has to moderate like a hundred streamers or something. There's, there's no actual stream. It's just well, Barry better moderating better. Let's get constantly. At her. Um, sounds good to you. I deserve time. Excellent. The goat scream. The goat scream is indeed back someone. Um... I definitely did spend hundred dollars on Chinese for the second night in a row. What are you buying for hundred dollars from Chinese food, Shadow? Um, the hottest, the hottest robot leper I know. <laughs> um, I can't find any other Twitch streamers who are willing to be so annoyingly evil. See, I don't think it's evil. I just think I'm being reasonable and logical, faceless. Now, if there are some people who disagree with those logical and actions, then you know, you just put them in the ground and then no one disagrees so you're correct and if no one's disagreeing with you you're right there's there's always a way to be correct um so i did actually go and grind um i now i can see that they're, they're all saying zero except for lulu who says one um but i did actually go through and do it um i got them all up by five and then moved them all um except for lulu by one and the problem was i ran out of ability spheres which made me very upset <laughs> Um, because several of them have got near abilities that they could learn, but I couldn't teach them because I made Lulu learn all the spells. But, I then realized that if I had taught Waka this extract ability early on, I realized this when I had Waka all the way over here. I realized that what he needed was extract ability, because if you have that, then you can extract ability spheres from the enemy. So, I had to reload my game after getting them all up level 5, like, after assigning them all their levels, and take Waka all the way back to get that. So that was frustrating. But they have been slightly upgraded, so let's see how that go. Um... It already has two. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, there's an easy fix of the ability sphere issue. It sends extractability. It's an item near every merchant called Ability Distiller. Oh, really? I assume not this merchant. Is there really someone? Someone like that would be handy as well. Oh, Walker. Do you have any items? Do you have an ability? I should really. That was the other thing I wanted to do. You know what? It's fine. Every time I hear uh, Waka, I think of this this, this time from Af of Africa by Shakira. See, I think of the Muppets now because of Kite Guy. Can you take me? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. We're going to All ride the zoo. the zoo. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I'd known someone that there was an item I could get. 
instead of the pain of going back. Tess, what do you need to do is simply get all the what, what I need to do is get all the spheres. Yes. That's what I need to do. I need to get every one of the little circles and color them in. But random merchants, yeah, it's an item and does the exact same thing, but it doesn't attack. Excellent. Okay. Good to know someone. Good to know. Hey, Waka Waka. Hello, Kai Guy. Speaking of you, um, and why Waka is now associated with a Muppet. I'm just imagining hey. a Muppet Waka now. Huh? Hello. Take a look. At like what? The water. Is there anything there? Whoa. It was like a Lion King thing. It's like my dead dad looking back. A sunken city. You have forgotten me. A Makina city, a thousand years old. Damn. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse. <laughs> and it all sank to the bottom. That's bad engineering. Right. It's a good lesson. <laughs> That's a, a lesson, lesson that didn't need to be learned. Yeah. If you can build Why build a city over a river, yeah? Like, because uh, you've got good well, engineers. it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. You can. You just do good mm -hmm. engineering. I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have Walker power, super they seek to they? use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? I... Walker. Does he not have yeah, power? Yeah, but don't like... you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. Yevon does not make sense. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember the Operation cool Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. There's just no war? weapons. More than a thousand years ago, Mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful. Oh, is this like an analogy for the nuclear war? It was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But Don't the war did not war. stop. What, what happened then? War. That means that Sin everyone came who presses the and new destroyed the like cities a sexy lady and their Machina. The war ended. <laughs> a much better war. And our reward was sin. Well, so, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? He seems really Man, okay with this, rough. can I just say. Like, yeah, it is. Waka gives me the but vibes of a like person who's like hyper religious, who's like happy that people get punished, because they're like, yeah, Only we should be punished because of sin. Users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Waka, calm down. What could that be? I don't know, Knock of Jar Jar. You tell me. Sit down. Sorry! <laughs> the outfit! <laughs> My... <laughs> you know... Sit down. Sorry, like, it's the thing she was apologizing to me for being kidnapped there with the timing. Sorry, I'm being stolen. Yuna, summon something. Okay, sorry if I missed anything in chat. Um, I try to, like, make sure I'm actually paying attention to the storyline because I'm actually invested in the storyline of this now. Rocker's racism on full display. It really was, wasn't it? Um. Uh, push him on the side. Why does Walker kind of sound like Bender? <laughs> I told you, Barry. I told you it was going to be handy. Yeah, like that's the only two ways that I know that word um, is shagged. Is either you're sleeping with somebody or like it's broken, basically, type thing. Um. Do you imagine. Uh, Jeff is kind of a whiny person. I get, like, I think a lot of it is just because, like, no one tells him 100% what's going on. And he's been thrown on the future. But then again, like, him and Yuna, whenever they have a conversation, it's hilariously just, like, not in touch. I love it. Um. Oh, hi, Autobot. What you been doing? <laughs> I'm really sad because I sometimes use my PlayStation 3 super slim to play old games like Devil May Cry 3 and God of War 2. But the last time I tried to play it, the fan made a horrifying noise, then I opened it up and cleaned some dust out, but now it won't read discs. And I tried everything to get it to read discs again. I think I can never read discs again. Oh no! That would suck, Sleepy. And like, there's no way you could really take it for it to actually, um, 
for it to be like fixed, is there? So am I? I'm gonna. Oh, so actually, someone it's a pretty easy fix, you reckon? If it's just the card reader. Oh. Hello, Snipe Backwards. How are you going? I hope you're going well. I think the metal battle music's a bit loud. Might want to drop the volume a scooch more if you can. Okay. What damn needs moving things up? Yeah. Is that better? Um, we gotta go get them indeed. Um, so when they're doing their dialogue, though, it's coming across clear when they're in their animations. So, Waka, it's now your turn. Skills. So now you have extractability. Can I extract ability on... I guess the boss? Okay. Now you attack. No, no, can I... Can I blind a machine? Don't... Oh wait, that's a dark attack, that's not... Wait, he's immune, never mind. Okay. Yuna! Like... Summon something! Uh, I really wish I had assigned a grenade to you or something. No, we're not going to convert. Um, why don't you just attack it? Let's see if you can do anything. You, I'd be playing some 13 today and you're really liking- You're really liking 13, Snipe? Um, what, what are you liking about 13 so far? Um... Oh no, our balls are doing nothing. And the boss is ex the boss was not impressed by Waka's ball. You know, come back! Reading depth charges. Oh no. Um What if I cheer us on? Our strength will get better, which means in theory we hit harder, right? Ah, so you like the story, not the, <laughs> the, the awful level cap. That's good. Like, I think a good story really does make everything, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, actually, um... For anyone who's watched Castlevania, I'm on the last season of it now, and I do understand when people are like, it kind of falls off after season two. I hate Alucard with such a fiery passion. And whoever is writing Alucard is, like, it just infuriates me so badly. Because Alucard is clearly being written by some sort of crazed fan fictioner. And then you have the really cool plot of Isaac there, which is an amazing story because he's internally consistent as a character. But you don't get to see him. Um, it fell atrociously. It did, and I know why, Sleepy. I can say, oh no, oh, that's just toxic waste. Why did you just put toxic waste on us? Yeah, use that on yourself, Jeff. Oh, that's sorry, Wack, we're using them on you. Attack! I feel like this is going to take a while and that I should have different abilities to handle this fight. Why did nobody else jump? Oh, because they're not Blitz 4 players, so they can't hold their friend. We're getting hurty. Um. I think the game is a little too loud, but that may just be my old man ears. I can turn it down, Barry. Is there a setting in the... Oh, no, there's not. Okay, I have to turn it down here. Here you go, Barry. It's turned down far, far way down. Um... Wait, 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 whatever. Wait, is this a card of a Castlevania? Yes, it's a Castlevania TV series. I've been playing Messiah of Might and Magic recently. Uh, it is really fun to kick people. Oh, yes! I know that game. It's one that I've started and I need to keep playing. Slots. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's do this. Let's do this real quick. So, we've just got... Wait. Ah! 
Damn it. Our slots were not good. And I should have healed Waka instead of doing that. I should have healed Waka and I'm going to have to use a Phoenix down when everything explodes on our faces. Unless that was actually useful, which I don't think it was. The extractor comes back down. No, maybe it was. Uh, high potion. On Waka. Um... <clears throat> Your thoughts on the Magic Redhead and Belmont. On Cypher and Belmont. So, Cypher and Belmont Electro. I don't think that they are bad characters. There's a few OP things. I actually think their storyline goes really good with the um, in the third one. I think they had a really solid storyline. And you can see the character development. I do think that Cypher as a character, whilst incredibly cool, is insanely OP. And from a narrative perspective, they've written her. And, and she can do stuff that, like... Cypher should never lose, basically, if you look at Cypher's abilities, because she can legitimately do anything, and they keep showing that. The only time you can take Cypher out is if she accidentally is like, I'm not aware there's an arrow in my head um, that just got shot from me. So Cypher, like, narratively speaking, their character development is really interesting, but Cypher is a problematic character from a writing perspective because she's all-powerful. Um, just because they they, they basically approach a fight with Cypher like this. What is the coolest anime thing we can get Cypher to do? Cool, she did it. But then they don't realize the consequences of their actions. Um, it's also a little bit confusing with Cypher as to why she's so good at battle from the get-go. Uh, with Belmont, like Trevor, you can see why he was raised that way. Cypher's a bit of a question mark, but that's fine. I can overlook that. Um, even with Hector, Hector's storyline is basically Hector walks in and you're kind of annoyed with him and then he gets stupid for an entire season and the obvious thing happens and is obvious. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Um, and, but in the fourth season, I feel like Hector's storyline is starting to make more sense. I think Isaacs has been the most internally consistent start to finish and he has a cool character growth. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I am between 30 and 16. I play 13 at my grands three days a week and start 16 on my new PS5. Oh, that's cool, Snipe. So you like, you got like them in different patches. So it's kind of how I do my games, where I play like certain games on these days and certain games on those days. So you can go back and compare the two. That would be fun. Um, there's a dramatic shift in tone and pacing after season two to a point that the last two seasons should have been a spin-off series. I think season three should have. I think the problem, right? Um. Is it- is the volume just still too loud? Is that the problem? I can turn the volume off. Hello, Sphinx! How are you going? I hope you're going well. Um... 13 doesn't have the victory music when it goes do 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 The victory- but how? The victory music's the best part. Who's about to die? No one? Okay, attack. Um... Was well, imagine found going after a big dude and found statue. So... She wasn't found intentionally going after the big dude Electro, that was the thing. So Cypher, when you first meet her, has been turned into a statue because she has been travelling her entire life and it is stated she has never been away from her family, which is a group of speakers who are basically peaceful. Now, she is a speaker magician and they end up stating that, oh, that's slightly different and everything, but Cypher's ability to do combat is that of a seasoned veteran, the more the series goes on. And yes, you can be like, oh, she learns to fight. But just looking at her, you're like, it's a little bit nonsensical how amazing she is. I love Cypher. I think she's cool. I do think she's ridiculously OP. Um, because, like, she didn't even know it was down there, Electro. So that was that's the interesting thing, is Cypher didn't even know she was in danger. She was looking for Alucard. Um, I, the problem for me, um, I watched season three and got bored. I refused to continue watching. See, that's the thing, Sleepy. It's... Alucard is the problem. I think Alucard is the major, major problem. Isaac's story gets amazing, and I think I think Castlevania is worth watching if only for Isaac's sorry for Isaac's story. Um, I do think Cyphers and Trevor's gets really interesting in season three towards the end. Um, why are you saying STD Sphinx? Oh, uh, but I reckon recheck if they have different sound volume settings for music since that's the trouble. Yes, okay. Oh, I see, Sphinx. Um. But with Alucard, he's a character that you first meet, and his entire character story arc is basically, I'm Alucard, I'm edgy. Hey there, I'm edgy, and you want to romance me if you're into tweak vampires, which apparently is everyone who liked Twilight. And that's his entire arc in the second one. 
And then in the third one, Alucard does this. I've been alone for 30 days. I'm insane now. Oh, look, two random Japanese people. I'm going to keep calling them children for the entirety of this and frolicking about with no character development. Oh, they're shagging me out of nowhere now. Excellent. I'm going to cry. Oh, they're stabbing me out of nowhere now. Excellent. I'm going to kill them. And that's Alucard in the, the, in the third season. And it resolves with him being like, well, now I'm sad, which is no different to how it started. And then in the fourth season, he's basically gone... I'm going to save people now, but never wear a shirt, because the person who wrote the fan fiction where I ended up with a threesome is still allowed to write my character, but I have to be a little bit more sane, but that also means I can never have a shirt. I hate Alucard. Every time Alucard appears on screen and any character comes near Alucard, bad writing appears. They have to be done by different writers, because Alucard's is just so atrociously created. And anyone who knows the series, I swear to God, if you say to me, no, but the twins' betrayal was totally foreshadowed, because at one point they turned to each other and said, we shall have a lunch one more time. Yes, one more time and a dinner. No, that's not foreshadowing. That's a bad writer's idea of foreshadowing. I refuse to accept it. I'm very, very angry at Alucard. This will, this is probably going up there somewhere with modern art. Like, as things to trigger Talos into going on a full rant is to mention Alucard from Castlevania. I haven't finished the series just yet. So let's see just how much Alucard can make me hate him. Um, <clears throat> which makes... Cypher really odd and unexplained. Trevor shows a proper arc by gaining new equipment or knowledge and getting his shit handed to him a lot. It is, yes, so someone is, someone is very, very right. Like, it's very, it's interesting, like, she knows the magic and, like, that's not a thing that they don't know. It's just that her extent to being able to wield it in combat is a questionable thing. I think, like, it's one of those cases where you can separate the fact that you like the character from the how is she able to do it so well after traveling with trevor for a while you can explain it but from the very get she's very quick to be able to go i can use my ice or my magic to perfectly defend the situation which ideally you wouldn't you wouldn't typically see that from somebody unless they'd been in a lot of combat she's just very quick to know the perfect solution and she kind of again she also has that infinite speaker knowledge so the problem with Cypher from a narrative perspective is Cypher is untouchable on almost every playing field because she has the brain and the raw power and she has the dexterity to constantly like roll away from everything. So it's kind of like, how do you kill Cypher? The answer is you don't. Um, Cypher gets scratched once and forever will show you those scars to prove that she can be hurt. She did get a boo-boo that one time. I feel like it's vulnerable to lightning, but I don't have lightning. That's fine. We'll continue doing this. I know. I couldn't stop it, Barry. I couldn't stop it. Do stop it. You say something is. <laughs> this doesn't mean they know fighting. I don't. I know. Plenty, I mean, peaceful people. Can, uh, excellent target to be wiped out. I think it was a case of electro. When you first meet the group she's with, the the old man is more than willing to be beaten up. So the impre and like the fam like all of them are sort of huddling there. And when you meet Cypher's family in the very first episode, the major impression that they give you is that they are willing to be torn apart by the angry mob. They're not going to raise a hand to fight back. Um which makes Cypher that much more of a uh, conundrum as to why she's so skilled. Um, it's kind of that. But again, I don't think that is the major plot issue with Castlevania. I think that is one of those things we can easily take away and not... We don't have to pay attention to it. Like, it's it's one of the forgivable quote-unquote sins. The, the issues with Castlevania are not necessarily Cypher. Because... You can work around it, it just makes her a lot harder narratively. Um, it's, it's friggin' Alucard's the problem. And Hector to a lesser extent. Um, but I know why Hector is there. We got you back, Yuna. Tell me if this is loud enough for you guys. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> ah, those out bed. Is everybody okay? I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Super full speed ahead. I 
can't not see Jar Jar Binks. Damn me, I'll bet. What do they want from us? You know. Could I have something to do with Luca? I'll use small words so that you'll be sure to understand, you warthog faced buffoon. I don't think they're kidnapping you know. Operation Meehan. I wonder. Didn't Kamari's clansman say something about summoners disappearing? Barry, can you let me know if the sounds so okay? You better behind that. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. <laughs> now everyone's just sad. <laughs> We're just going to hey, not talk. Walker. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now. Right? Why? Waka really likes it. We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. <laughs> Did she actually say thank you or was that just in brackets? Because I didn't hear that either. Um... Okay, excellent. Thank you for that. Are you going to go play 13 CLA? Well, thank you so much for dropping by, Snipe. I do super duper appreciate it. And hello, the gaming native. How are you going? Um, the booba. I wasn't ready. You weren't ready for, for the booba of Lulu. But trust me, Sphinx. You, you get it a lot. I'm still going to Lulu again to new belt buckle for every time her summoner is captured or killed. <laughs> I feel like she'd just be drowning in them by now, someone. Um, and hello, Ozzy. How are you going? Waka sounds like my old grandpa. He does, doesn't he? Like, when you first meet Waka, he's a chill guy. And then Waka later on is just like, this. you know when you meet a co-worker and you think they're fine at first and you're having a great time? And then they just start saying more and more off sentences? And you're like, mmm. I, uh, I feel a little uncomfy wumpy with what you're spouting there, buddy. Um. This doesn't feel like a good sentence, Waka. Um, but well, it's Grandpa. We can't hold it against Grandpa. So, we're over here. Oh, they've got a nice picture. Oh, look at it. It's just nice artwork over there. Be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? <laughs> oh my god, Waka. Waka, please. Looks like we're stuck here for a while. What is he going to do if he realizes Yuna is like half our bed? Because I feel like we should just tell him and he'll have one of those character arcs where he's like, I'm cool with it now. Ah, uh, old people. Goodbye. Oh wait, hang on. Have I talked to you? That's Lady Yuna. Hmm. No wonder. No wonder that we want to kidnap her. Bye. Yeah. Uh. Can I run into this giant pottery wheel? I cannot. Um. I'm missing quite a bit. I'm trying to keep up. It's also because I'm trying to see what's happening in the game. Um. I thought I was lucky not to run into my wily mer into any wily merchants this side of the shore. But I ended up buying something from that man over there. Hey, man over there. I'll walk at you. What you got? I do feel like I need more potions, but you only have the 200 and I'm unwilling. Well, you're useless to me right now, sir. Seems you destroyed the Albed's machina. That's some dedication. You'll receive a blessing from Yevon. It'll be necessary to strengthen the security so the Albed won't get in their way anymore. Can we... Hello. I feel like we're at Star Wars now with all the alien guys. Uh, is up ahead, but the path is infested with fiends. Oh no, I, that's cool, that's cool. We can go murder them. Should I stay a crusader or follow a different path? I wanted to discuss this with someone on the far plane, but maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> like, just a random person? Imagine if you are like, on public transport or something like that, right? And someone just sits down next to you and they just turn to you and they're like, Should I continue to be a lawyer? Or should I change careers? And, like, how do you do that? How do you deal with someone just asking if they should change their life plan? I sense that Lady Yuna was here, and I can feel the warmth of the people. <laughs> the descendant of the High Summoner and loved by everyone. Yuna embodies perfection. Oh, you sound like a very creepy anime nerd who's found their senpai obtained as a... Alright, I'm ready to fight. Wait, did I get... Hang on. Whilst I'm actually here, ah, uh, I think I have to go into settings outside of the game, Barry. Oh, wait, no, no, configure. Pfft. It, uh, yes, no, it does. It doesn't have, um, <laughs> it doesn't have volume. 
<laughs> oh, actually, someone, I did have a question for you. Um, <clears throat> she's 15, guys and girls, keep that in mind. Ah, okay, yes, thank you. I assume something, um, something creepy is coming up. Oh, good, I can still keep my thoughts on Lulu then. <laughs> yes, we're all allowed to enjoy Lulu. I know that was what Sphinx is enjoying. Plug back the earbuds when people start talking more, then you can help me with a small thing. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to ask... Oh, no, no, no. How did I... There we are. So, <laughs> abilities, right. To teach the Aeons these abilities, I have to go to them, yeah. And I get that I have to bribe them with stuff, like, I I can do Tark Attack because I have Smoke Bomb, yeah. And that's how I would teach Fire Jeff that. But, when I go through this list, um, how do I teach it, how do I get it to have other things on this list? Like, the Fiera, the better Fire, because right now I, I, I wanted to learn more. Can I teach it stuff not on this list, or is it only stuff on the list? Um... Because I would very much like for it to learn more. Um, I don't really want it to cheer. <laughs> um. Came here for Tower, stayed for Lulu. <laughs> You're just like Sleepy Sphinx. Sleepy came here for me, but stayed for Barry. Um, most of the bees aren't worth uh, teaching. The way you find new abilities is by finding the items. Okay, so that's how I do it, someone. I tried to Google it, and wow, Final Fantasy people on message boards are mean. Um, they are mean people. Um, but they also are not helpful. So I wasn't sure on how to do that, because I was like, I get that I need the items, but how do I find, so you're, I find them in the wild. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Uh, and my comment on how fast chat is going to us wasn't a comment on you, but fun that we all had. Oh, good. Oh, good, Electro. I, again, I, I, the thing is, I just, I feel really bad when, um, I do miss stuff in chat. Because people have taken the time to write me something, and then I feel very rude when I'm just like, going to ignore that. Because <laughs> I, I, I obviously don't mean it, but. Yes! The Ability Sphere plan worked! All I wanted. Waka. I suddenly see you as a useful friend. Oh, a dead person. Oh wait, no, that's not a dead person. That's chick from the start. This is where, this is why someone is saying to keep your pants very firmly You're to yourselves and on dead. your body right now. Uh, You're not what? dead. It's you again. Um. Uh. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> Oh no. I was done for back there. Riku. You're Riku. Hey, you're okay. How you been? Thank you for that introduction, Riku. Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? I think she almost drowned. You beat me up, remember? <clears throat> Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? You dropped bombs on me! Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, she dropped bombs on me! Like... Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. You were in a tank, I was flesh. W wait, but you attacked us! Nuh-uh, it's not exactly what you think. It was a kidnapping? Yo! Very different to an attack. Oh, he's going to go full. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet you. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? <coughs> she was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's in our bed. <laughs> <laughs> Walker's face just staring at him. Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Oh, he's not being actively. <laughs> Never mind, so, I think he's uh, trying Riku, to start stuff now. You look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. 
I right. Sorry, Waka. If I was Waka, I'd be like, hang on, what? wait. <laughs> Why is the new girl allowed? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was that like a motion for swimming? I'm just trying to so figure I'm... out what that was. <laughs> that discussion I'm point was. Riku to be my guardian. Oh my god, she does collect everyone, doesn't she? Show me your face. Look at me. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm just... <laughs> Open your eyes. <clears throat> Riku, why are you like this? As I thought. Um, no good? Oh. Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? <clears throat> Doesn't you Yuna have it? final say? Yes. I do. Isn't she the boss? Riku's a good I get girl. that, you know, Oren at the ripe old age of 34 is an old man, but... Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right -o. How and quick Waka is to change his tune. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Amazing. <clears throat> um, yes, this is her, Electra. This is the 15th Sheila. What did you just watch? Things you watched Final Fantasy X. You watched a cutscene from Final Fantasy X, which is some of the best cutscenes I've ever said. They one entrance you into the story, but also see see feel almost baffling at times with exactly how things go down. And I think it's the best thing. I. I know that it wasn't AI generated, but there's like that slight vibe, and I think it's just because of a translation thing. Um, but I find it absolutely delightful. I'm all here for it. Um, <clears throat> many things I say have a purpose, promise. Others are nonsense or sarcasm. I refuse to say when either is happening. By the way, bomb cores will teach Fiera, and fire gems teach Fiagra. Most of these items are gathered from stealing mugging items from enemies. Oh! Sometimes I drop off to killing them, but it's harder to find and more rare. I have an ability to steal, don't I? Or is that what Riku, right, Riku does? Uh, Yuna catch him. Exactly, exactly, Sleeper. It's, it's Yuna catch him. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Yuna goes to a movie theater and, like, the usher's there and is like, here's your ticket to Cocaine Bear. And Yuna's like, I, I want you to be my guardian. This ticket, thank you. Like, she just has a whole list of them. Because apparently if you just want to be her guardian, you turn up and you just kind of like do something near her general vicinity. Other than straight up praise her immediately. Um. <clears throat> Waka can't be that dense. Apparently he is. Why is this Jeff so dumb? I mean, Waka obviously knows, but is being respectful because she saved Jeff. <laughs> I... <laughs> Um. <clears throat> also, Waka Walker is the Parkman noise. Waka is the Parkman noise. It's the noise from the Shakira song. It is the noise from the Muppets. Oh, hey. Just is that her encounter? Wonder what's inside. Hang on. Sorry. This is so out of left field. Um, sorry. <laughs> what is happening to Raikou on the other side? Because she kind of looks like she's seizuring out. <laughs> As she's sizing up this treasure chest. It's like the mimic chests from D&D. &D. Is that what's going on? Um, and hello, Ronan. How are you going? Hope you're going well. Why are there six pedals if there are only four directions? Why are there six pedals if there are only four directions? Oh, she's the FF thief. And hello, former. How are you going? I'm on a second day of my two weeks mandatory paid vacation, and you're already bored. Ah, fair enough. Ah, oh, her joint's okay. So no plans for the two-week vacation? Just sort of wing it? Use a special ability seal to open treasure chests found on the battlefield. Be careful. The battle will end as soon as your foes are defeated, and any unopened treasure chests will be lost. Also, attacking a treasure chest will destroy it and all of its contents. 
Oh, okay. So it's not that these appear like wild treasure chests. <laughs> like Riku goes and stalks a herd of wild treasure chests meandering through the forest. Oh, she just got side punched super know. hard. I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. <laughs> What's happening that anime? It's called a battle stance. Oh, that's red vs blue, a great a battle a series. I loved red I loved early red vs blue. I did drop off later on, but I've heard from a lot of people that if you stay dedicated, it gets really, really good, just in a different way. Um, I watched all of the early meme stuff of it. Um. <clears throat> oh, is it from Red vs. Blue, Ronan? Are you, I've run you often will, like say a quote and I'll completely forget it's a quote from there, or I'll get it immediately. Um. Her overdrive is the strongest of the overdrives. So really, someone. Um, Riku's overdrive mix allows her to combine two items in stock and create very special effects. The results are unknown until the items are actually mixed. Oh, try mixing the two bomb cores you just found to see what happens. Is that, is that her overdrive? Oh, okay. That's really interesting and cool. I, I do have to say something I am enjoying deeply about this is the very different ways they use, like there's a lot of different mechanics for each character and stuff. Um, and even like the overdrive and stuff like that, like it makes it very interesting having, like it's not, samey and stuff like that. It's not just straightforward. Every character has their own thing that they do and stuff. It makes it much more distinct, so you don't just what feel like you just you're... Do? That was great! It was. Do more of that. Items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. <laughs> I do wish she had a slightly different battle stance, though. Because <laughs> I am concerned for her joints. Um, she needs the bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of like that weird, like, I'm having a, sh a seizure and need the bathroom vibe. Um, I heard Tess is enjoying Final Fantasy X. Now I want to see her play some other JRPGs. I almost wish I would have nominated a different game, like Nino Kuni, Wrath of the Witch, uh, White Witch, or Tales of Vesperia. Why, why on those ones, Sleepy? Why those do you, do you feel like you wish you'd done instead of, um, Final Fantasy? Um, <clears throat> there's 40 plus combinations. Uh, can I, like... I'm assuming that I can put any two items together. Like, I could put, like, an antidote and a phoenix down on them, right? Like, just mix them together and throw it in. But I assume, I assume someone, it's a case of, if I mix two phoenix downs together, the result would always be the same. Or is that randomized as well? Um, yeah, oh, you just want to see me tell him. Fair enough. I was wondering if there was, like, a specific reason. But no, that's fair. Um, so, you can... Use your special... No, no, no. Use your haste on... Uh... Waka. Um... <clears throat> okay, Yuna, try harder not to be hit the... Okay, you're asleep. Good job. Um... Extract ability on dog. Because screw you for attacking Yuna. Yuna, don't die now. I feel like Yuna didn't listen to me. Uh, do we have... Here, because I can't use you if you're asleep. So, did that miss her? Did I miss her? <laughs> I didn't know that we could miss ourselves with the potions. Okay. Um... Come after Jeff. Hey, you. Take me um. <clears throat> uh, for each combination, don't change. Excellent. Okay, good. So there is a statistical inter like like a consistent. There's sorry. There's a consistency with each item. That is good to know. Extract from you. Um. How do you miss a teammate standing next to you in the sleep? I don't know! That's the crazy thing! She's asleep standing next to Waka, who's meant to be the guy with the good aim. And Waka's just like, oh, slippy po- like, They're like, no, we don't want you in this fight. Um, I feel bad for her now. Take a ball to the face. Overdrive. Sword play. 
on this guy. Ah, uh, okay, good, good, good. Um, <clears throat> there we go. In the game Nii no Kune, it's like Final Fantasy, but made by Studio Ghibli, and you can catch Pokemon. Ooh, you have my attention, Sleepy. I do enjoy catching Pokemon. Uh, do you, did you use a potion or another item? Potions never miss. I used a, um, it was meant to cure any of her ailments. So it wasn't a heal, it was like meant to be one that would cure her ailments. <clears throat> More abilities! I like that one, that did 69 damage. Um, attack. I'm sure she did though, right? Like, you guys saw that she was asleep when I threw the potion, yeah? Like, when I threw the, the thing, yeah? Because, like, that's why I threw it at her, was because she was sleepy time. Just bouncing this ball off its head. Bye, Yuna. Oh no, you're a lot. You're... Yes, you are. Okay. Summon your ISO fire jet. There you go, Yuna did wake up in time for battle. Hello. I'm here to put some fire on your face. There we go, battle one. Um, you now have a next game Tales is going to want for you. <laughs> Time to play every Tales game. <laughs> That's what your plan is to play every Tales game now? Um, but Tales of Ves uh, Vesperia is the one you played, and they were saying Tales of Symphonia? Uh, that armored rock thing hit her and woke her, and woke her up. Okay, it feels like it's wake up sleeping allies, but magic ones don't. Interesting. Okay, because, like, I swear to God, she, like, because I, I was like, oh, she's asleep, I can't use her. So that's why I went for the status effect thing, because otherwise I wouldn't have bothered with the potion. Okay, that's interesting. And bad joke, guy guy. Excellent. So let's have a bad joke. We actually do have uh, a couple of other nominations coming soon to the channel points as well. I just got to get something on my browser, so that should be up for Thursday's stream. Um, there's like two new ones coming. So, this is the bad joke. Yay or nay if you think these are funny guys. The alphabet only has 25 letters at Christmas. There's no well. So the alphabet only has 25 letters at Christmas. There's no well. Yay or nay if you find that funny. Um, I might try to redeem that next time. <clears throat> oh, and also for anyone, um, that's a yay from Baron, a yay from Kai Guy. Look, it's a yay from me. I actually did enjoy that one. A yay from Ozzy and a yay from Ronan? I don't get it. So, uh, I don't get the whole Noel thing, but I know of it and didn't see it coming. <laughs> I burst out too loud. I didn't heal my characters. I hate myself so much right now. No! Uh, okay, hang on. This is fine. This is fine. You sleep switching with Lulu. So uh, you need someone with magic skills. Yeah. Uh, I actually didn't really need. No, that was the wrong one. I probably wanted. You know what? This is fine. This is fine. Don't look so shy. As long as not everyone dies at once, we're all good. You switch out with Orin. Orin. So who's next? Use your power break on giant rock. Um. <clears throat> Uh, no, there's the French word for Christmas. Um, so as in, like, yeah, so that's that's because no, anyway, I'll, I'll let. And now you switch out with Riku, and Riku, I'll do my best. you steal the, from the chest, and you got. What did Riku get? Did Riku get anything from the chest, or does she need to go to the chest again? Riku can steal from herself. Okay, then don't do that. Uh. Okay. 
Um, Dragon Scale. Where on the screen did that pop up? Where was I meant to be looking? Because I was kind of expecting something in mid-screen, but that obviously wasn't it. It's a fairly large screen I'm looking at. Um... <clears throat> Oh, okay, so... Quickly, abilities. Where are you, Yuna? Let's use some cures! Oh my! A healthy Yuna is a fighting Yuna! Get ready to rumble, as they say. Alright, we're all good, and Talus isn't going to murder the party by accident. Noel, 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 Noel. Over and over, because they're doing the same thing with the word Christmas doesn't land the same. It was derived from the Latin to be born and now found its way into the Christian Bible in France. English turned it into Noel. So there we go. That's why the Noel Noel is another thing for Christmas. So the idea being sleepy that Noel sounds like you're saying no L, like there is no letter L. So that's why there's only 25 letters at Christmas time because it's Noel, meaning there is Noel. For other jokes being poorly explained, let me know. Um, <clears throat> you can switch out with Waka. You can use your extract on Rock Dude. And then you can miss. I love Lulu because she dodges 99% of the time. 99% of the time, somebody comes for Lulu and she's like, mm, nah, later days. And just like steps back lightly. Delayed nay. At the top, immediately after using the steel skill, the chest opened after the text popped up. So at the, the top left, Ronan? Thank you. Um, because yeah, my, like, when I'm focusing on the screen, the edges, like, my screen's large enough that the, I'm, like, you know, really looking that close at the edges. Um,. So it does help when information pops up in I miss it if you guys tell me where I'm supposed to look. Because like sometimes I'll be looking somewhere else. I'll be like, oh, I've gotten a thing. That's totally going to appear here. And I'm like, huh, nothing appeared. And then I look like a moron because it's very clear. I've seen the VODs. I've seen my VODs where I'm like, guys, the words weren't there. And then I'm like looking at the VOD and I'm like, Talos, the words are there. You just, you are not looking at that portion of the screen. Lulu, why are you making me sad? I'm going to extract an ability from this dog. Oh, you're silenced. Well, attack it with your, your Mugu. The thing I didn't do was I didn't... Uh, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god, that's not fine. Oren, what's your issue? Why did you miss? There you go. Waka to the win. Walk is saving the day, everyone. Death um, is whimsical today. Top middle. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ronan. Thank you. Um, just top middle, not top list. So top middle up. Okay. Um, and you voted yay to the joke, someone. Excellent. So I would say no to tell us no. I was explaining the joke, Electra. You can't name my explanation of a joke. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but excellent I think um, that is the most successful do you know what that's probably I'm gonna write something on that joke because that I'm gonna make I'm gonna mark this joke because that's the most successful joke we've had from it there's only one person who disagreed with the joke inherently I marked the wrong thing that is not the joke I think you guys would want every Light. Oh good, and you've written your crazy serial killer writing, so that looks like you're plotting everyone's demise. Good job, Talos. Okay. Um <clears throat> Uh first Final Fantasy player I see. Hope you're enjoying the game and good luck. Well thank you so much, Blue. I am very much enjoying the game. Um it's taken a little bit for me to wrap my head around exactly how I would say it's a way of it's a far more complex game. Then I usually play, like, it's complex, but at the same time, it's not. Once you get what you need to do, it's pretty straightforward. But I guess it's kind of more, it'd be more clear to say, less complex and more, it has a lot of moving parts. Like, that would be the way I'd kind of describe it. There's a lot of moving parts in Final Fantasy, and you can make it more complex depending on how much of those moving parts you want to pay attention to, or you can try and simplify it. Um, but there's, like, there's a lot of moving parts to it. 
which I do enjoy. I think it makes a really interesting game. It's definitely very different to what I'm used to. Um, <clears throat> Monet says otherwise. <laughs> interesting fact, dogs sweat through their paw pads, not through panting. Through panting is how they cool off. It's very interesting when you look at their biology. Um, thank you for the reminder. I was sleepy and interesting fact. So let me just get to... So I'm assuming that we've got to save... Let me just do this, um, and then we'll do the interesting fact. 3k hours here, so anything you need help with, story or gameplay, just ask. Oh, fair enough, please. That is a lot of time. Is this the most time in any Final Fantasy game you've played for Welcome number 10, or is there another one you've played even more in? This way, my lady. This way. Uh, All right. Uh, me? Who else do you think, Yuna? Oh, I beg your pardon. Yeah, you probably shouldn't I just grab random women. Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. And he says I can grab Lord whoever I Seymour want. Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Luna, you know, why Point do you think you're here? Come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, I know he's not sketchy, but he feels sketchy. And also, I love how Seymour goes out of his way to Yuna to be like, Yuna, I clearly am paying attention to you, young Padawan. And Yuna's all like, golly gee, me? Again, like every time she's surprised when Seymour pays attention and Seymour's very clearly like invested. Um, X is your favorite. What about what about number 10 blue makes uh, makes it your favorite? Um, uh, I'm assuming my brain is like assuming you've played them all, but maybe you haven't. But um, I'm curious, what about it makes it your favorite one? I'm always interested when people have like a favorite out of the series. What in that stands out? Um, I beg you to look into the Killdozer story. You will not be disappointed. That is ringing a lot of bells. So the Killdozer, was that the guy that was really high on meth? And he did like a, a rampage thing. Um. Yes, yes, he is. In fact, Killdozer was an interesting fact on the channel. So I just had to Google him because I was like, that just reminds me so much of a thing we did. Um, it wasn't quite the one I was thinking. Of. I was thinking of a slightly different one, but we had done him before. But thank you for the reminder of him. Um. <clears throat> Now that Rico's joined the party, you can customize weapons and armor. Let's take a look. All right, so, um, you may have eaten too many hash browns. And sorry, I know Shadow, you mentioned earlier you'd got your Chinese food. I missed the message where you told me what you got. What did you end up getting for a hundred dollars? No, you didn't get it again. You didn't get the hundred. But what did you get previously for the one hundred? Um, hey. <clears throat> right. I dig this guy's hair. It, his hair is awesome, but why does he look so Count Dooku tree trunk face? <laughs> um, this is just like when they went to Lotharian and Lotor. <laughs> um, his hair is pretty cool. Um, Orange story. It's it's thanks to him I decided to do a good person because, like he says, it's my story. Oh, fair enough. So it's like it's Orange story. That's interesting because right now, Orange so far and it hasn't done like he's not given us a lot of his personal story so that's interesting that like that's obviously like it gets a lot deeper as we go on and stuff that will be interesting to see like a lot of this story i'm really really liking it um <clears throat> uh um but yes this dude wasn't high there may have been one but no this yeah i'm thinking of the guy i initially thought of was the guy who um he had like a secret tunnel and he drew a, he had a tank yours is the guy that went up to like the um the city hall and stuff like that because yeah the government kept screwing with him he built the thing like he had land and properties and stuff like the mem the, the specific details are sort of foggy because it's been a while but i deeply enjoyed that one like people are crazy um it being brought up by has get uh mm. Um, so, <clears throat> the interesting fact that we do have, before we get into the weapon upgrade, I'll tell you guys the interesting fact, because otherwise I will forget. So, <clears throat> the year is, um, unfortunately this one isn't as cool as the Killdozer. So, someone just set the bar super high, so I'm about to disappoint you all. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, the year is 1987, and we are in Alpine Manor, a nursing home in Michigan. Now, 
in, in this nursing home, there is 24-year-old Gwendolyn Graham who works there, and she's pretty lonely. So she's been working there, and she doesn't have many friends or anything. But then she gets a new shift supervisor, who's a woman who's recently transferred over to the uh, the nursing home to work as a supervisor for the nurse aides. And this is 25-year-old Kathy Wood. So the two meet, they're on the same shift, Kathy being Gwendolyn's supervisor, and they end up becoming very fast friends. Um... As they become very fast friends, it's, it doesn't take long for them to realize that they have emotional feelings for each other in a romantic sense, so the two women get involved. And personally, I like the whiskey brewery flooding street and drowning people. I think that was one of the best. Someone, do you know about that one where the whiskey brewery um, basically <laughs> drowned a bunch of people? Uh, well, it didn't drown a bunch of people, sorry. They died because of alcohol poisoning. It was the beer flood that drowned the people. Um... <clears throat> Nursing home is already setting off alarms. Indeed, sleepy it should. So basically, these two women, they end up getting together, and it's a very, like, quick romance, a very intense romance. Um, and as they're in their free time, getting all involved in each other's business, uh, Kathy says to Gwendolyn, hey, wouldn't it be neat if we cemented our love for each other by, like, killing someone? Because, you know, that's the best way to trap somebody into a relationship with you, really. Um, you know... Having a mutual understanding, open communication, and just trusting each other, all fine qualities. But if you can, like, convince the other person to go into a murder with you, you have them for life. So, you know, that's what Kathy was doing with Gwendolyn. And Gwendolyn ended up going along with this. In fact, Gwendolyn was the one who carried out their first murder. So what happened was um, Kathy was playing lookout and Gwendolyn uh, took a washcloth into one of the um, old ladies' rooms who was 60 and she smothered her to death with the washcloth. And honestly, I find that very upsetting. Could you have used something else other than a washcloth? Um, so they did that and that really cemented their relationship. They thought that this was bonding. So over three months, they ended up killing a total of five victims. Now, initially, they were going to try and kill victims so that their initials spelt out the word murder, but it turned out that that was very hard. So they gave up on that plan halfway through. Um, but what then they decided to do instead was there was the saying, I'll love you forever and a day. So they decided to take that saying to a creepy place. So they decided that each murder would count as a day. So um, after their second murder, it was I'll love you forever and two days. And by the end of the five, it was I'll love you forever and five days. And uh, Kathy actually wrote Gwendolyn a poem entitled I'll love you forever in five days. Um, that would, would come up as evidence later on. So... <clears throat> Um, <laughs> as all of this is, is going down, um, basically, um, they, they start to kind of have some issues in their relationship. You see, Gwendolyn kind of feels like maybe Kathy should do a murder to cement their love. Maybe it shouldn't just be Gwendolyn doing all the murders. But Kathy's like, no, 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 I'm good. You do the murder and I'll just, it's cementing, cementy. So they have a fight and um, basically Kathy gets transferred onto a different shift. Uh, so she's now on a different shift at the hospital. Gwendolyn ends up meeting a woman called Heather who gets transferred to her shift. They start a relationship and Gwendolyn feeling like if Kathy won't commit murder, then is she committed to this relationship? So she leaves for Texas with Heather. Now, Gwendolyn is, oh, sorry, Kathy is very upset that Gwendolyn has left her and she goes to her ex-husband. So the funny thing was, one of the reasons why their romance, the, the when Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn, you'll remember at the start, I said was a very lonely woman until Kathy Wood turned up. Now, Kathy, one of the reasons why she was very open to having new friends at the time herself as well and was happy to feel the loneliness of Gwendolyn was Kathy had recently divorced from her husband of seven years. She'd married him when she was in high school, basically. She was like just turned 17. And she divorced him quite recently. So she was feeling very raw and emotional. So that was one of the reasons why her and Gwendolyn got so fast and intense into a relationship. But Kathy was still apparently on good terms with her ex-husband and told him she was like, yeah, we killed like five people, but like Gwendolyn totally made me do it. Now, apparently her ex-husband is not a crazy man. So he went and told the police and the police were like, we're going to talk to Kathy. And Kathy ended up making a plea deal with them that she would give them all their information if she would get a lighter sentence. So they go and they arrest Gwendolyn. And then the trial starts. Now, at the trial, trial, Gwendolyn tries to play it that all the things that happened were just mind games. None of it was true. It wasn't real. It was just thought experiments. But her new girlfriend, Heather, comes forward and says, no, she, she like, mentioned she murdered people. I just thought she was joking. But, um, no, no, there's, like, 
she told me about this. And Kathy continues to play the card that she, in fact, was kind of coerced into this, even though she suggested it. It was more Gwendolyn was the dominant one, and she was the one really forcing her to do it. And Kathy was like, I only ever did lookout. So by the end of the trial, basically, um, Gwendolyn gets life in prison five times over, and Kathy gets 20 years. So she gets 20 years for it, and she goes in. Now, after this is done, um, she ends up telling two different stories to other prisoners, but there's also a deep dive into her life by someone writing a book. And when the deep dive is done, uh, and they've interviewed everyone who knows um, Kathy, a very different picture comes out. Now, the other thing they did was Gwendolyn ended up going under a bunch of psych tests and she was deemed basically uh, not without having enough wits to pull off a scheme like this and to be easily manipulated. So I'm like, what tests did you did? But basically everyone after the fact was like, yeah, she doesn't seem like she was the one masterminding this. Everyone in Kathy's life said, yeah, she's like a psychopath. So it came out Kathy was just a straight up psycho. And then she was telling people in prison that um, she, she in fact herself had done all the murders and um, she had pinned it all on Gwendolyn as a basically punishment for leaving her for Heather. So Gwendolyn is still in jail. Uh, but Kathy is actually out as of 2020, and she is just in America somewhere right now, chilling. So, um, hopefully not near old people. But that is the case of, um, the Alpine Manor nursing home murders. Have you ever heard of that one at all, Sleepy? Um, do -do 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 -do. uh, personally, I like the whistle. Nursing home is already safe. No, but I'll be cashing in one day to hear it. Um, the whiskey, the whiskey one, nobody drowned. They all died. That's, that's what I corrected myself to, Ronan. Yes, it was the beer one they drowned. Um, sadly, interesting facts don't get recycled, or at least not with a mistake. Yes, I don't tend to someone recycle old facts unless I kind of have forgotten them. But I was actually going to ask you guys if you ever wanted me to do another one of those interesting fact streams. Um, we actually had an interesting fact stream once it went, it went for like the entire... Or was it the two hours or three hours? Um, we were a slideshow and everything. There was pictures. Um, uh, what a way to showcase your love. Give up on your plan because it became hard. I know, right? Like, look, this is a hard plan. Can we just go with random murders? Um, that or if Talos finds... Yes, there was one time I did revisit a fact from a completely different angle. Um, I'm the only one murdering in this relationship. I don't mind you murdering for me, darling, but murder is in my love language. I'd prefer to do the chores and pick the movies we watch instead. Nothing gets you over a breakout like a rebound murder. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> oh, I went through this whole thing think, uh, thinking they were They are lesbians, Ronan. They were lesbians. What do you mean? Oh, right. So, well, I guess basically, um, Kathy is either bi or she, she, I believe, has identifies as a lesbian now. Again, this happened in the the late 80s, so that's very within the realm of people still having to repress their sexuality. Um, <clears throat> whenever there is a murder couple, one of them always turns on the other and goes, it was all that are Exactly, every single time, except for the very, very creepy ones. Uh, hello, Harvey Specs, how are you going? Hope you're going well. Um, it does sound, I'm not surprised it sounds vaguely familiar. It's one of those ones that does get trotted out from time to time. Gwendolyn was a simple psycho with no boundaries. Kathy was a psycho with a manipulative streak. <laughs> exactly. That's the way you tell the difference. And hello, Mr. Vinland. How are you going? Interesting facts are interesting, in my opinion. Thank you. Yes, it's... I always like when I say, you guys redeem an interesting fact, and I turn to you and I go, the interesting fact's interesting tonight. Like, just implying that I some nights have boring ones. Um. Um. So, a customizer used to upgrade weapons and armor by adding ability. Let's actually look at what we're doing. <laughs> Oh my god. Items I needed to customize and add abilities to. Okay. First, choose the gear to customize. Alright. Note that some weapons and armor cannot be customized. If any of the slots in the abilities window shown at the bottom left of the screen are empty, that gear can be customized. Oh, if an item has no empty slot, it cannot be customized. There is also gear that cannot be customized no matter what. Now. I deeply enjoy that went now and then pause to go up. After selecting the gear to customize, a list of availabilities for that gear is displayed. Oh. The amount of items needed for the procedure is also displayed at the top right of the screen. On the left is the amount of items currently in stock. 
Okay. On the right of the amount of items left after customization, items are spent when gear is customized. Abilities for which there are insufficient items are displayed in grey. And cannot be selected. <laughs> when you select an ability to add, you are asked to confirm this procedure. Select yes to complete this procedure. Adding fire star okay. Some gear get new names after customization. Blame tongue. This concludes the customization tutorial. What would you do? Without that is adorable. Me? Everybody in Clyde, everyone wants a love like theirs, just without the murder. Enough people goddamn cosplay them, right? Like <laughs> that's a thing. Um this is the same thing as the Aeon abilities, just with the armor and weapons. Yes, thank you, someone. I was just thinking that. I was like, oh, okay, so that's... They kind of use the same... The same sort of logic there. I didn't realize we could actually customize the gear like that. It's actually really, really cool. Um, so that's... This is kind of the thing that I was saying a bit earlier about how there's an interesting amount of moving parts to this game. Like, I wasn't expecting so many moving parts, but it is very neat. Like, you can definitely make it your way that you want to play. Um... <clears throat> Gwendolyn. I can't wait for Tao to meet Gwendolyn in Dark Souls. Oh. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guadalcanal. Dare I ask who that is? Ronan? But he deserves our respect. Did they re-rate make Final Fantasy X? I see a lot of people playing it recently. There was the HD. Like, the I've got the HD remaster one. I'm not sure when it came out, so though. He administers both the temp um, I'm guessing it must have come... Care to hear about the far plane or the fireflies? Tell me about the pyreflies. Ahem. They may be called pyreflies, but they aren't really flies. I was really hoping they weren't actually pyres. There are those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Excellent. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, pyreflies have something to do with aeons too. Oh, really? Dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not. Who knows? And that, as they say, is that. Thank you for that summary, sir. Can I talk to this? No? Okay. Go out here, then. I enjoy that. Actually, I want to know about the other thing. Um... Uh, not really a remake, but uh, people talking others into play. Oh, really? Like, just... Uh, oh, he's gone. Oh, no, he's there. He's just... Uh, everyone's Can like, you should check it out. Plane, Have a look at it. Pyrefly? I want you to tell me of the far plane. Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyreflies born from ascending gather. Oh. They appear in the shape of quite Ooh. the phenomenon. How the owl bed have a theory. They say the pyrefly... But only the dead appear on the far plane. It's a great mi Maybe the dead leave a bit. Okay. And that little bit borrow. Or maybe not. And that, as they say. I like that. It's like, there's many theories, we just don't know. And you didn't want to talk. Uh, excuse me, old man. Um. She's amazing. It wants just to touch head. us. And, Lady, I don't and you'll want see to what I mean by that when you heat her. Oh, I see. Um. Or maybe 22nd. Either way, it's anniversary. Just passed it and went back on sale to celebrate. Ah, right. There you go, Harvey. Um, so there's, there's, it's an anniversary and a sale. Like, that's, there's, <laughs> I must have bought this just before the sale. <laughs> oh. The amazing chess person is up ahead. Not this amazing chest, is it? This is pretty... Oh, never mind. I was about to be like, what a great chest. But it was just to make a potion. Not the most, uh, coolest of chests. Um. Take the far place so the dead can rest in peace. Can I go to the far place? I want to see it. Oh, hi. It's you again. Let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants. You want money? The pilgrims that come to visit the far plane. Listen, you watch the big. Me, you can trust. Okay. More than a Guado, at least. A little bit racist there, my friend. I need to like look into buying weapons from this guy. 
Um, I need to upgrade my weapons, I think. Um, I just don't know what I want to upgrade them to. My husband has long served as a guardian and the leader of the Guado. These days, he, he's a company lord, so I'm all over Spira. What a lovely, like, story you just told us. Uh, equip. Um. So. Sleep strike. I don't think I like either of them. Do you have a... That's a poison ward. These are just wards. Um. Waka. Do we have a better ball for you? Lightning strike. Witch hitter. Ice strike sensor. That seems better. Wait, what was your armor? I don't feel like I'm getting any good gear for these guys. Um. Oh, in Dark Souls. I see. Right, right. That's what you mean. Yep, 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 yep. I've noticed that the trend on Twitch that whatever is on Steam sale seems to get a huge boost in what's trending. Then an early access tie is about to be released. Yes. A hundred percent. If something goes on sale, you suddenly like see it everywhere. Um, it's, it's very funny. Thunderblade. I've got one item for you. Uh, no, again, I don't, yeah, I've not gotten any new items for these guys. Can I? Morning. Is there a way for me to like compare stats equipped? Okay, there, and this has the double. The Brotherhood is equipped. Okay, and this would give me Water Strike and Lightning Strike, right? So, in theory, buying Double Edge would actually be a good idea because then Jeff can do elemental damage. So as long as I'm not attacking a Water or Lightning, that would be effective, yeah? Um. Okay, so don't, don't do that right now. That's fair. That's very fair. Do I want to darkly touch things? I want to sense things. I feel like... What is death touch? I want that. It does also... Five magic. Piercing and strength. I have a lot of lightning strike. <laughs> you're like... Someone, you're like, don't get lightning strike. Oh, my item said lightning strike. Exactly what it says. It just death touches? Are you banking on me not remembering Big Boober and Magic Twink for Sleepy? <laughs> Barry a bit slow tonight on the spoilers, I see. Um, Dark Wall, again, none of these are there. I want... The Fatal Cat is the one, I think, I want. The others... Uh, that's all. Nah, the others can leave. All right. Um. And hello, Drop. How are you going? I hope you're going well. Um. They literally called the weapon Catsith, huh? Is that a reference to Final Fantasy VII, or is it from an even older Final Fantasy? Uh, it has a chance to cause death, but the per spell on hit. Well, I'm. S <laughs> I love when they just take me for a little journey. Um, that's one of the references every F game is little with them. Oh, good. Okay. Lord Seymour instructs the Guado youth on numerous subjects. Thanks to him, I learned about Yevon's teachings in the history of Spira. Are you a youth? Thou seems weary, good traveller. Would thou sit and rest thy feet a while? I'll be like, my speech perplexes thee. Tis old Guado I speak, a tongue seldom heard, with even Guado seldom now. Okay. Good traveller, Perthi forgive us our antiqued prattling. <laughs> right? We're old and just want you to know it. The elders just won't give up the old tongue. I keep telling them how unseemly it is babbling like that to our guests. I don't think anyone minds too much. I mind more this scoot pushing me out of the way. I want to go through here. It seems like there's more way. No? Okay. Um. Alright. So, we've it discovered everything there. We've gotten a new toy for, for Lulu, and that's what's important. Ah, Yuna, you're looking... awkward. What's up? Why does he want to see me? 
because you're special, Yuna. Everywhere you go, everyone's like, it's Yuna. You clearly mean something. What do you want to tell me? I wonder what smells so nice. <laughs> oh, okay. That answers my question earlier. So when um, Riga was talking to, to Yuna and Lulu, she did this flappy thing and I thought maybe it meant swimming. But no, that's just like a way that she excitedly tells you things. Okay. It's just a her thing. Stay close to Yuna. We all should. She's already been kidnapped twice under our watch. Can I just point that out? Mine By our bed like both times. So, I'm not sure where Walker is right now, but he probably to the left there he is. He's covered by the map. Honestly, Walker disliking the owl bed in relation to Yuna at least makes sense given they've tried to keep her napper twice. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. <laughs> Mr. Seymour doesn't look like them, no. They don't look don't the same, you know, dude. The last leader, Maester Jiskel, wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. Oh. I mean, Seymour does look greatly different. Um. Stuff even if it's not story stuff, in order to see Talos give a legit reaction to surprising, so I can see why Ronin might want to be careful. Well, see, now the thing is I'm going to be looking for that character. <laughs> Uh, just a heads up, a vast majority of weapons for Jeff will not be better than Brotherhood outside of customized weapons or Jeff's ultimate weapon. Useful maybe, but Brotherhood is overall a great weapon that you can use the entire game. Oh, okay. So basically it's like the weapons, it's really just, uh, it's something you don't want to stray too far from. Like there's nothing that's going to be that great. Um, the meme is that they spend all the animation budget for Guinevere or animating her humongous. Heaving honkers, leaving nothing left to animate her mouth when she talks. Oh, I see. Like, it's just like you're like, is it just maybe that people just never look at her mouth so they assume it's not moving? Uh, from Kingdom Hearts 1, and it's super weird to see him here. Oh, Harvey, I believe Shadow had the same reaction to Walker, who was who, who knew Walker from Kingdom Hearts 1. It's like weird to see him in this setting. <laughs> Alright. Well, can I go through the door then? I'm going to touch the door, everyone. I feel like maybe you know you should be the one opening the door. Oh no. This way, please. He's here. I know it doesn't move. I've checked. I assure you, Talos, I've checked. I've played the encounter many times. To triple check, just to make sure. I will go inform Lord Seymour. How many doors are there? Please wait here. Which room did you come from? I. That is a lot of fruit. I hate it. Is he in here? Everyone, come to another room and stand around. Now come to this room and stand. Oh, that doesn't seem like a hazard at all for anyone wanting to be on stage. That seems very safe. Very safe indeed. She has a mouth. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? He's a bit Those creepy. Power, use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> <laughs> you just cluing on right now? I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, Walker, what do you want to say? I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. I would hope so. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd Why is love? say nothing then? No, no. Maybe Lulu trying to be nice, Jeff loves. I don't know anything about Spira. And what? maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. They yeah, will think you're crazy. Riku's the only one actually eating something here. Everyone else is just like, let's just stand ominously Kamari around the sides. No Alright, Kamari is done with us. At least he's not just growling at us. This is good. <laughs> sure know how to eat. I'm glad we got the interaction behind the flowers. What could it be? Oh, 
Are we hypnotized? <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. I feel like I've if this is a Lord horror Gisco film, he's going to murder us. These halls have been too quiet. It's good to have guests again. Was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? I don't think you're meant to ask that. This is like the equivalent of Pope, grotto. dude. He was truly a great man. Like, I think... Truly a loss for us all. I think they get upset if you question how great they are in front of them. Ask that out in the woods. Lord Seymour has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. So he gets he blue hair the instead of green. That binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Wow, they have Lord huge Seymour. hands. He will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the people. I am Spira. terrified of this man's hands. trouble. Must I always endure such praise? I'm sure I said that about Seymour's hands Welcome. as well the first time I saw them. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Yes. <laughs> Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Yuna Maybe must Yuna. rush. This way. I need to separate you from the party in a non-horror movie wet-like way. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if you should start touching strange- you know what, that's fine. You like my star theatre? is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the park. Titus just be like, uh, this is my city. My god, please let there be a poster of him. Correct. Zanarkin, as it looked 1,000 years ago. That would be amazing. Like, the Blitzball fight about to happen. She once lived in this metropolis. Your mother? CGI time indeed. Ooh, there is actually a functional reason for her belt buckles. I like to poke fun of them, but the designer used them as a test for the graphics team to see Maybe if they could constantly get the right amount of buckles. Oh, that's amazing, someone! Sin, also cruel to the graphics the team. From its ravages. Oh wow, that is not his... And wait. have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, why does she not Lady have clothes? Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable Sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Can't scare me. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I love how, like, so often in this game, the women will just be like, pants are a no-go. Let us get as naked as possible while still being allowed to be on your television screens. But then there'll be, like, someone in full armor next to them. So it's like, the, the contrast is even more severe. Uh, I don't like this vibe. Was it Yuna's parents somehow? <laughs> I don't know.
Yuna does not seem pleased. Did Seymour do something like one day you will marry me or something? Oh god, she's just getting... <sighs> wow, your face is beat red. You okay? Are you going to go with no? Um, everyone should be very concerned. He... Oh, I was right! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Do you know what Yuna must do? Of course. Lady Yuna. No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just uh... defeating Sin. <clears throat> She must ease the suffering of all Spira. But specifically you, Seymour? I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion this is may not be good. but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. Go for the other, more age-appropriate lady that's mean to everyone and owns There's a potato no guard. Right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Um. <laughs> Why are you still here, sir? Because creeps like you, Seymour? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. <laughs> you don't sniff him! That is so... <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay! Well, that was a fun reveal. Um... I was trying... <laughs> So that was in her first year of Blitzball. That's why Jack was posted everywhere even 10 years after he disappeared. Right. So Ties was actually quite new. So that's why there's no posters or anything like that. Um. Also, you, you know, last year I was naked because why not? Every video game has taught us that women's armor attracts all damage to the Bu area and then deflects its hit. This is true. And then as, as Mr. Vinland said, think of the money they, the women save by having to only order 10% of a suit of armor. You would save a lot. Oh, poor little Jeff is going to lose this lady. Hey, wait, we lose the fire, Jeff. Bad blue-haired men. Exactly, Electro! We can't let the blue-haired men take our Pokemon away. Unit 17 here and Seymour is 28. Uh, do, do you remember how just a little earlier on I had said, I don't like the vibe here, and then I half went with my sentence of what he's going to, like, marry, and then I shut up because I was like, oh, they'll tell me, and then it was exactly that. The up in the nose. 28, 17. Yes, but... We're going to keep up uh, tonight on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> a high-ranking church official corners a young socialite woman and <laughs> asks her to marry him. Yeah, that's um <clears throat> not the best optics, is it? I'm calling her a socialite because, like, that's technically kind of a term you could use to describe her. I know she's not a socialite. But she's not exactly part of the church. Um, just before everyone starts screaming at me for using the word socialite. Yeah, the high summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon. Can we not? Overcoming the barriers of race. Well, it would give Spira something cheery to talk about. Isn't Seymour already overcoming Sounds the barriers like of the race by daydream, having a like human says. mother and a dad Come Guado? On. Let's just get on with the pilgrimage. Let's not marry you, I mean, Marriage? Hmm. Jealous? <laughs> what? Thanks, Riku. No way. We gotta defeat sin. Romance <laughs> can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. No, it's not. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, <laughs> if it would make people happy. You know, you have bad if ideas. I could do that for people. You know, he's Maybe 28. Maybe I should do what I can. I, I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Not seriously. getting with you Seymour. You can always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> Riku's like, give up. Let Come me on. have Titus. I'm sure that 
Lord Seymour <clears throat> will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself <laughs> from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? I don't even think that's part of a political marriage. Titus has no idea how those work, does he? Um. I just finished watching an episode that the exact thing happened. Just a young woman, but a 13 year old. Oh, God. Oh, was that on. What was that on? What episode was that on? Was that on to, to catch a predator? That's merely a coincidence. What's merely a coincidence, Sleepy? <clears throat> Alright, where'd everyone just go? Ah, oh, there's something in my eye. I just got an eyelash in my eye. It is so painful. Okay. I'll just keep blinking that to hell. Um, alright, so... I... I feel like... Again, it is... I find it odd how many people know Yuna. Like, left, right, and center people immediately see you. Like, I know that her dad's famous. But, um... She does seem insanely, insanely popular. Um, because you've been touched. My eyes are watering, Mr. Vinland, because I, is that the pain I feel in my eyes? A positive emotion, it's love. And I'm suddenly, like, I'm recognizing love and I, my body is just, like, leaking fluid. It can't handle it. It's like, what is this positivity? Um, that he's a high-ranking member of the jury. Oh, just a coincidence, that's all. Just pure coincidence, guys. Oh, uh, I just found it watching an episode that the exact thing. Oh, hang on, I just read that. Um, oh, you want me to go this way? It's just so touching. Let me. Oh, I'm just so touched by the terrible optics. Can I go by you now? Please remain inside. Wait, where did it, where did I leave my teammates? Because the arrow said to go back there. Can I go through here? Oh, a chest. Screw you guys, I'm robbing you. Nice! Robbery was worth it. Now where are my teammates? Because usually angry arrow points for me. Do I need to go back to Seymour? Dear Seymour, we're not going to let you marry Yuna. That was a bit creepy. Please find someone more age appropriate. I mean, surely he can find any woman, right? That... Hi. You may not enter. What if I come back dressed as Yuna? Can I enter then? The reason Seymour gave everyone was twofold. One, he used the concept of hope and happiness as a reason. A summoner and a high-ranking official both faith and teachings and gives hope that sin can be beaten permanently. Two, the Guado are the newest addition to the followers of Yemen, giving a wedding ceremony between a summoner uh, and a church official from the race. So we'll just points one even further. Like, again, someone, I understand what he's trying to do. I just don't like it given the age difference. Like... Because again, it's very, you know, it's very aristocratic, marry off the royal family to, to, you know, get feuds and hope and stuff. So I totally get the, I get the concept logistically about what they're trying to do. But it's creepy when she's 17. Like if the game just made her older, like <clears throat> even 21 or something like that. Do you know what I mean? But they're like, no, we're going to make her under 18 and have that choice there. Like... No, bad game. I do 100% get it. Like, it, it makes sense in that kind of a... Well, if we have to do a political thing... There we go. Hi. Alright. Maybe Guado age half as fast. So he's... He's 14 then? And she's 7... That's even worse! Someone, that's even worse if, like, he's mentally 14. That makes it worse, because then he's just a horny boy going through puberty instead of a full-grown man tactically planning this out. Like... No, actually, I'm not sure which is worse. Um... He wants a girl with small hands. He's self he has self hurting Guado who hates Donkey Kong hands. <laughs> that's what it is. He's like, I just like how small the human hands are. They seem appropriate for their surroundings. Exactly. She's the creepy one at that point. Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? 
Apparently. So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? So where and does their flesh go? Is what you're about to ask? There no? too? <coughs> Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. What? What? What is this? I love it. Uh, you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, trust me with Yuna's life. You'll see once we get there. <laughs> All right, in we go. Oren, you don't want to come? Aren't you coming? I'm uh, assuming because he's already dead I or something. There. Like a resurrected one or something. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the... This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memory. People think of their relatives and the fireflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. Oh, An is it like he knows too many he knows dead people that he doesn't want to see, basically, type well, thing. Have fun. Or he what? doesn't want the rest You're of the party to see the dead Riku? people. I keep my memories inside. I don't want my memories on huh? the outside. Memories are nice. But that's all they are. Alright, well you guys enjoy being out here. I'm gonna go see some dead people. I... I guess I won't see my dad because he's not dead. He's sin now. Does he still count? Like, do you know what I mean? He should keep eavesdropping on that person. We keep... <gasps> exactly. Just keep eavesdropping on <clears throat> Hello guys, I'm here. Ah... Better brother. If only I hadn't died. What the? Who are you saying? It's all Zanakin. It's just the city itself. Well. That's certainly a field of dead souls. It looks like from Hercules, the animated film, the Sea of the, the Souls well. The Hercules jumps into and he starts rapidly aging, but then he gets turned to a god, so he doesn't age anymore, and he t turns back to being young, and he saves Megra, and then the movie goes on. It's really good. It's a great film. Quite enjoyed. Oh, it is panic. <laughs> oh. This seems creepy. Would you guys go to the dead the far plane? plane was cool, the far plane. But I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they look so happy together. But it got That's me worried that joy. maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Uh, dear dead parents, should I marry someone a decade or more than a decade older than me? Um. Riga just destroyed them with facts and logics. So they're just memories. Seymour has big emotional de detached sociopath vibes in every scene. He does, yes! When he says he wants to share marriage, you can probably believe him. He's going to say, I do. You know, me leaves for the pilgrimage and he never touches her. That's the plan. <laughs> no, that's fair. If he, like, so what you mean is, like, if Seymour literally says to Yuna, like, I want to share marriage, I will never touch you, you can believe him. He's not going to force himself on her. That's fair. Um, the big swirling cloud is totally a berserk reference. Oh, really? I d you know, the first scene, in, he talks to everyone, he's really chill. I actually, I think I may have tagged, I'd love to know exactly my reaction to Seymour, because I remember seeing Seymour and being like, I got villain vibes from Seymour. So I'd love to, I, I'm going to have to check. Um. And hello! Cain, Fungu, Feet Enjoyer, how are you going? Are these all ghosts? Apparently, yes. These are all, well, memories, I guess. So they're not quite ghosts. They're more like memories that get ripped out of people, but basically ghosts. Why don't ghosts. you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Who are you calling? Because, like, he's busy over Yo, here. Chapu. Chapu's busy over here being dead. Earlier, yeah? Can't we have multiple Chapus? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Uh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? I mean, it took this him guy, many years to give up the game. like you. Showed up. Does he? Traveling with him, I thought... Maybe... You were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again... Here you are on the far plane. 
Guess your place is here. Hi. So, how you been? Oh, hmm. that guy I just told you about. I gave him <clears> a sword. <throat> he likes it. Huh? I see berserk oh. references everywhere. Is that because you're still going through the manga sleeping? Just on the brain? I see dead people that would make it in more context of berserk. Uh, to me, just make it seem like he has a plan and is going through with it. A politician in a church side, if it's your bill, you know? Or our uh, resident racist says, yeah. To be fair, <laughs> politicians I see as villainous as well in most cases, so they go hand in hand. Um, yeah, no wonder I got villain vibes. I smelt a politician. Okay, yeah, he is not interested in me. You know, what do you want to say? So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh. Every day, no edge closer to becoming uh, a supervillain. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. Okay. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Well, I must do probably. What wants, not just what I want. What you want to marry Let's Seymour? Go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. I I don't think he's gonna uh, answer. He's busy being worry. Sin. He won't come. What? Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him. Hang of on. Course. Wait, does Yuna know that? See, he told you. Jack he's Sin? here because he's not dead. I thought he's Yuna sin. didn't know. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? Shit, I forgot that I she was. Yuna? You know what? I take back what I was saying about Seymour because I forgot in how into Jacked Yuna well, why is. I have to apologize for him anyway. I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Absent father, Everything kind of does, mean. Just makes me mad. Bit of a dick when it teaching me Blitzball. Me and my mother. Oh. Uh, 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 Mom? She's dead. It's her. You happy now, Yuna? She's very pretty. But, wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. What? Whoa there. That's wait, then why doesn't... Talking about. Doesn't everyone oh, accept death? I'm sorry. Like, what mm. does she mean? It's okay. Ah, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. We're suddenly getting a lot of plot. See, so, so I, I told, told him what I thought of him right there. I see, she's just really clinging to the hope project. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Oh, Maybe I see. that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Wow, both of his parents were garbage. Is she all right? <laughs> this is... Why should you care? If she dies, <clears throat> I wouldn't know what to do. But Oren. Don't say mom is gonna die. But was Oren into my mum? The old lady next door told me when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man. Mommy! I think neither of them liked you that much, Titus. Uh, Poor Jeff. Women. You'll cry if you don't. <gasps> wow. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. Sounds like you got How neglected hardcore. Well, need some more time. What? No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? Once again, a private conversation between these two. This one didn't end in just random laughter, though. 
The unsent are people who died before they were ready. So if you were killed by a surprise tidal wave from Sin, you'd probably come Next back wave. as an unsent. Ah. So not everyone accepts their death. Those killed or breaking their death will be the first to not find their way. Kind of like the typical ghost stories. Right. Okay. So it's the, the unex... Yeah. Oh. Did no one... He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Send him away, Yuna. You don't like the young Titus voice, Sleepy? But Clumpy Chums, you like the young Titus voice? I don't know what the other one sounds like. Oh, you mean like the, the kid one? I do have to start. Any kid voice usually grates me a bit. So what's happening with that weird traveling child we saw at the start? Because they haven't come back. Like, they came back once, way ago. Now, I'm very curious about that. There is only Jeff. I would love all of this to be done with just Jeff. Okay. Uh, what was that just now? That really Lord Disco? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once. Maybe don't sound but so happy about that, Spira. Jeff. Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? <laughs> it means he died an unclean death. Dying is complicated in this world. Like, you can't just die. It, it's a whole thing, isn't it? Like, it's not straightforward at all. Oh, a chest. Um. <laughs> the young boy with terrible act voice acting comes back later. Ah, he dropped a procure. What's this on the left side? On the left side? This one? This room? He's voiced by a uh, legendary voice actor. His first big role. Yeah, he's very social awkward, but so am I. Who was the voice actor, Clumpy? Who would this this voice actor go on to be? Um, on the hallway. Uh, you mean the hallway through there? This hallway? Can I walk through here, dude? I can. I am not see oh um yes that on the hallway I'm not seeing anything on the left hand side and hello Dale how are you going I hope you're going good are you guys seeing something on the left hand side that I'm clearly like I'm, I'm just blatantly missing um a hidden thing I'm pressing A, but... Nothing is, uh, nothing's happening. You're okay. Good to hear, Dale. Good to hear. You're, you're standing... I'm okay. It's going good. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid, Kane. I, I can't... Kang Fu, I can't... I can't... Seem to find the thing you're referring to. Um... It is actually about the time that I do call the stream through anyway, so we'll have to call it there. Um, I just kind of, I wanted to get to the next area. Um, <clears throat> I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Oh, you're not going to tell us your outcome yet? Yuna, Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. You do not need to marry him. Continue the journey with us. We will split uh, the party and I really like your what? eons. So Lulu. What do you think about Yuna getting married? I don't think she's happy with the idea. As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way is fine. That's it? No, there what you go. She's indifferent. Like the guy. Is that okay? <clears throat> People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? That... Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. Um, if you have that, you don't Cutscene need stream, indeed. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. I, what's not to get, Jeff? 
Well, he's like, I just don't get it. It's like, but dude, it's super easy to get. The political marriage. Where is that save point? I think it was down this way? Oh, I got... Hello! What do potions good? Buy some before leaving. Thank you, Kamari. Uh, yes and no. Death is death in Spiro. The soul of the departed can either accept it that they died and move on voluntarily, or they can be sent by a summoner. Those that normally accept their death or have a strong enough attachment to something in the world become unsent. Those that died with anger in their hearts or begin to resent the living are transformed into fiends via fireflies. Right, okay. So th that's why the summoners are so important, because they stop all the uh, the shenanigans basically happening, because you, you send them away. When we leave here, we have to go through the sun. I'm looking forward to the thunder plains. Where was that save point? It wasn't in here, was it? No, it wasn't. Upstairs. I know that there was a gosh dang save point. And now we've had so many cutscenes and things. Definitely wasn't here. Was it on the very bottom? If I go close to you guys, you'll like put me back into another cutscene. Here, maybe. Um, no, I just walked into here. Oh, uh, you can tell it's late. Um, where the hell was it? Oh my god. Like, I am certain, absolutely certain, there was one. That's the chest. That room doesn't have one. That one doesn't have one. Was it in. What happens if I do this? For a while there, I was a little. I am hoping that the auto saves the auto save won't be where mm. um <clears throat> so standard ghost rules. Well it seems like you've got more of a chance of becoming one. Essentially never a set of beings that are a bridge of connecting souls to spirit and then the far plane. Um I'm so confused because it must be like one friggin' door that I'm managing to just miss on repeat. And then I'm just seeing the same doors over and over again. Get out of my way. That wasn't it. There wasn't one in this one. There wasn't one in that one. And there wasn't one downstairs. It was the I. Because isn't this the item shop? Go under the bridge. It's under the bridge. I swear to god, I went under the bridge. How? How do I do this to myself? Thank you. If they die, they don't get sent. They will become a baby Yoda. Oh god. I would curse that if they... That does sound absolutely horrible, becoming a baby Yoda. Can, oh my god, what's happening to that pixel? So this is down. So this is under the bridge. There. This one? Yeah, you can... Thank you so much, someone. Yeah, you can see, like, I've hit that point where I'm tired from work today. Oh, uh, I felt it like the last 15 minutes. I was like, yeah, sleepiness is coming. And then just like snap. And I'm like, yep. Unable to navigate or think logically anymore. But that's fine. It was mainly cutscenes. It was just the navigation that was the problem. Thank you, someone, for that. Um, So I won't mess with the settings on that unless I can find it in game. But still really enjoying it. I, I am very keen to see where we're going with this now and the story. Because it, it seems like we are going to go to some very interesting places. Um, Tell Ify, go Betty Bye. Exactly. Tell us go Betty Bye now. <laughs> Too tired from crazy chaos. Must sleep. And thank you for joining, Mr. Vinlan. Um, especially uh, you and someone and, and everyone else as well who did help fill in some of the lore and stuff and, and all my, my many questions I have along the way. Um, thank you guys for putting up with my, my much rambling and, and terrible guesses of the story. But a big thank you everyone for jumping in and joining me. I do super duper appreciate it. And a big thank you as well to those who do just lurk or just watch the VODs. Thank you all so much for that. Um, so this Thursday we're going to be finishing off... Uh, my friendly neighborhood so we'll be finishing that off this thursday on friday for anyone who's in the discord we're going to be watching indiana jones and the temple of doom um and then on saturday and sunday we'll be back with dark souls and then final fantasy will continue again in a week's time on tuesday but 
Thank you all so much. You all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your time zone, wherever you all are. And I will catch you next time. Bye.